Welcome back to an episode of Mechanical Nightmare. Customer states, noise from the rear. That'll do it. I think it's been a while since they had brakes. Customer stated it's starting to slip, which is a bit of an understatement as it's surprising they managed to even drive it into the shop. I know what's wrong with it. Don't have any gas in it. I'd say that's f***ed up. You know, when you're working on a car like a Lamborghini, there's just some things that you just don't do. You know, like drill into the body. This was going to be a 16-year-old's first car, till the mechanic found this during an inspection. Is this factory for this year? Hmm, pretty interesting. Look at this. No wonder why the brakes are tearing. No wonder why they're not having Customer states, my brakes aren't working. <laughs> I'd say that's a problem. <laughs> uh, here we have a, a 22 Yukon here that uh, runs bad and smokes. Well, that's about two and a half gallons. That's probably a good half gallon. So we have roughly two oil changes worth in this. Never underestimate the power of a lube deck. <laughs> what is meant to look like? what it does look like. Hey, I'm gonna go right back to what I actually want to do. Thanks for ruining the video. This customer came in stating their engine is seized. The oil dipstick read perfectly. However, this proved otherwise, and it turns out, cylinder one had blown up. Let's try some percussive diag on these wipers. Customer states, my brakes are locked up. Gee, you think? Oh. Oh yeah, that's bad. Somebody ordered peanut butter in the differential? Oh, dude. Oh, it smells so bad. Customer states, weird shit going on. What in the hell is going on here? What the f <laughs> Okay, go. Tie rod. Okay. And the ball joint. Uh-huh. And then the bushing. Okay, and then the other side. Well, we'll start off here. Tie rod again. Well, the link starts. That's one. And the ball joint. And the 
Ik was shit. Customer states was driving and heard a loud bang. Now truck barely drives and doesn't have four-wheel drive. Beauty. So this is an interesting one. Didn't know uh, I could fucking do that. That's pretty good. That's half of a nut. Just broken off. Thanks, Cheater Bar. Expensive bill coming up for this truck, potentially a fifteen to twenty thousand dollar fix. Customer states, vehicle won't stay running. Maybe an alternator, maybe, uh, oh. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Customer says they spilt water in the center console and now it won't crank or start. An old 320 Mercedes. It's, it's in good shape. Good shape. But I'm gonna have to probably call BS. This is how the car arrived here, and that's all we have to go off of. I spilt water in the center console, and now it won't start. Somebody told her that it needs a brain. I think they were talking about her, not the car. Twerked perfectly to spec. Customer states, I just bought this car, but the brakes feel weird. Got a 2022 model KDM 300EXE. Uh, old mate was trying to do a runner from the cops and held her on the button at about 140 plus for like 10 minutes down the highway until it locked up. And um, she's a uh, she made a bit of a mess. It's <laughs> fully cut apart in like five pieces. Skirt's gone off the ball. It's hammered the fuck out of it. Like that's all that's left of the piston. The rest of it's gone out on the road apparently. <laughs> Cracked the cases, like done a big number on it. So uh, I get to piece it back together. Fucking jigsaw. Oh, man. 
that's healthy. That is thick. That's a chocolate milkshake. So this is a new one for me. Your average transmission cooler. That yeah, goes inside your radiator, right? How much pressure was this transmission putting out to cause the expansion of the cooling fins? Holy crap. Not quite the window blade you expect to see. This Toyota Tacoma engine only had seven miles before having a catastrophic failure. There's a train. Still good. On today's episode of How Much Noise is Too Much Noise. Just right. The customer stated that the battery exploded. The battery's been replaced. I wonder what that's from. Oh boy, whoa. whoa. What's that from? Where's that from? Oh, I get it now. Customer states they hear a ticking noise. You don't say. All right, customer states need new shoes. They have everything here. Oh, there's your problem. So the driver of this truck was complaining that the front end was shaking a little bit. I, I, I truly have no clue why the front end was shaking so much. Good old pad slap. Oh my god. This customer overfilled their car by almost 10 quarts of oil. Thankfully, they realized they had messed up and had it towed to the shop.
Toyota 4Runner. Customer states no air coming out of vents and making weird noise. Pop this baby in gear. Oh, that can't be good. So this is the craziest shit I've ever seen. This is this guy's key. Here's the ignition. Just kind of, kind of stick it in there. One. And she starts up. What in the? F <laughs> so I'm replacing the. Fender liner on my 2013 and uh, look what I found behind the old fender liner. This is where 10 mils go. Yeah that, that's supposed to be there and this is not supposed to move like that. That's ATF fluid mixed into the brake fluid. As the customer was told by a part shop, you can use ATF instead. It's the passenger side lateral control arm and lack of frame. Yeah, there you go. That's plenty of movement. Frame is rusted in half. Oh yeah, that's some good shit right there. This customer sent in a video of their 2012 Chevy Cruze with a terrible oil leak. As you can see, someone who previously worked on it attempted to fix it using some stop leak, but to no avail. All right, you ready? There's the top end. Oh, damn. Damn. Well, that ain't good. Little update. Found that 
is the source of the oil leak. That probably had something to do with it. Okay. Let's lift it up. Customer states I need a tire balanced because the wheels have been shaking. Customer got stuck in the snow, so he floored it until he managed to come out. Yeah. Hmm? What was in here? Huh. Huh. I'm just doing suspension and kicking it out of the uh, body shop. Somehow this customer's Ford Transit's valve cover broke open, spraying oil everywhere. Customer states, heard a loud bang while driving on the freeway. All of a sudden, the car started running like crap. Yep, that'll do it. This customer got their Mustang back like this after it was in the shop for three weeks for a transmission job. Turns out they plugged the spark plug wires in the wrong order, making the motor misfire insanely. Customer states did their own transmission pan gasket. Wanted to see if it was done right. Everybody's favorite orange. That's a screw. I'm gonna go with no. Je place à Trois Rivières là un mois, puis il faisait au 5000 kilos sinon. C'est que ça la merde même. Arc. Incroyable. C'est un 2020 là. 2019.
This one's in for an oil change. A little power wire is over here. Quality repair. Impressive. This mechanic just bought this Silverado, which unfortunately had some hidden leaks. We'll just uh, fix this one this way. Perfect. Customer says, can we just check the diff it's making the noise? Yup. Last car of the day, right? So, drivability concern, and... Yeah! Running good to me! Gross warning on this one, everyone. Look away if you don't like cockroaches. Ugh. It's everywhere. Jesus Christ.
I never thought I was actually going to see this, but... Straight through the other side. Well, I found a problem. Here's the bottom end of the engine. Here's rod number one. This customer oiled their paper air filter instead of the pre-filter, causing it to stall out. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna fix your highway vibration, bud. Not at all. Felt ourselves a race car. Well, can't start the car unless you want the wipers. <laughs> uh, people. Fucking hilarious. The only thing that's holding it on. Shots. <laughs> Everything's fine. This truck came back on the tow truck after the rim exploded, destroying two tires, rims, brake booster chamber, shock absorber, wheel hub, and the air suspension. Definitely going to cost a bit. It's a Dodge Grand Caravan. Holy It's all-wheel drive. It's, that's awesome. Oh my gosh. Wait. Wait. Ah. Uh, that's the that's transmission. There's no transfer case. Well, there's your problem. 
You ain't got no goddamn intake. Customer states I hit something on the highway and lost all my gas. There it is, there's the oil. Ew. Customer state's vehicle has electrical problems. Was trying to fix it himself. Just your typical Midwest rust on this Jeep Patriot. Customer complains that all doors, locks, convertible top, and many indoor interior accessories have quit working. Uh, let's take a look down here. That'll probably do it. Mold and water in the comfort control module box that'll probably do it Dang. that sat there that sat in there and then this sat in there with it we got a few electrical burns out that on that the yeah pounds yeah no problem customer states driveline issue not really fixing the fuel pumps and that's a 08 Mercedes GL 450 and look what I find when I pull up the center seat a pretty well petrified avocado 
customer comes in, he states that he put new coils and plugs on this car and it still has a misfire. Well, it does have a new coil and it does have new plugs, but How you're, how you're supposed to drain it first how somebody attempted to drain it <laughs> the owner of this car came running in saying her car was on fire and asked if we could help the mechanic assumed she smelled some burning but decided to keep driving towards the dealer and by the time she arrived whatever was burning fully caught fire See that? See that hole? See this gasket that's supposed to go in the hole? Check this out. Gasket doesn't work anymore. This customer ran over a stop sign leading to a fair bit of damage. Luckily, they stopped the engine before it was starved of oil. Oh, Mr. Engine, I don't feel so good. This vehicle's poor pilot bearing is screaming for help. Customer states, cars burning oil after they did a driveway oil change. Turns out they overfilled it by two gallons. Vehicle is leaking from every orifice. Armada, wheel bearing. A little crunchy. I do all my own work.
All right, we got the Suzuki came, coming down all the way from Mexico. Uh, the lifting points kind of scared us because they're literally just welded on. Literally and figuratively. Just feel so uncomfortable, you know what I mean? shop yeah that looks like a problem yeah that's a problem looks cute from the outside but when you start looking at things it gets a bit sketchy the milk for your Cheerios. <laughs> this is just... My dumbass friend says, my wheel bearing sounds a little loud. Can you check it? This customer came in four months ago and when recommended a brake change, stated no thanks. My buddy is a mechanic and he said he would change my brakes. States, my window sounds like a machine gun. Go! Get to the chopper! Oh boy, that's tough, boys. So doing timing on this Subaru. Just got the cover off. And, uh... I think somebody forgot something the last time they went and did it. Because uh, it's a little, it's a little loose. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. <laughs> Customer states it was dropped. See if we can repair it. How fucking far did you drop this? Bus? Shit, it's getting a bit cold in here. Better wind up the window. This Yanmar motor unfortunately decided it wanted to become a water fountain. Damn cool in it. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a lot. Oh.
Whoops. This customer stated they have a slow tire puncture. They put the pad on backwards. As you'll soon see, this feathered stowaway ended up being completely fine. Oh. There he is. He himself. Completely He's stuck in there. Trapped. Focus. Pull him out. I'm trying. Don't push him out. Looky there. Would you look at that? Stop recording. What are you doing? Filming it. I asked nicely already, but now I choose violence.
So I just noticed I'm missing a couple bolts on my transmission mount. And then had a look at the rear one. It's moving a bit. Ah. <sighs> When you forget to top your transmission oil back up after a service. Don't! Thanks for watching. You can submit your own videos using the link below. Also, remember to like and subscribe.